the base strings are being duplicated, so we take those off all in order, send those in. But the treble wire, we're just going to throw that out. But before we do, we need to measure them so we know exactly what was there. We have a little teardown sheet here that we're going to record. This is from, actually from a different piano. We have, we have note 88 here. So this whole section from 88 down to 79, note 79, is 30 thousandths and 33 thousandths, and it just kind of jumps up. We're just going to duplicate all of that. So to make those measurements, well, and I'll, I'll say it down to, down to 29. We don't, we don't go all the way down. This, this is just kind of a default template sheet that we have. So the lowest single string on this one is 20, on the one that this is from is 29, and the last three are 44 thousandths, which is a size 19 and a half. First thing that, that we need to do is we need to look for any strings that are tied, meaning come, come over here. You can see this string here, or sorry, sorry, that one here, starts there, goes down, wraps around the hitch pin, comes back up, and then connects in the middle. So these two pins share the same physical string, this one and the middle one, they're the same physical string. And this one starts here, goes down, wraps around this hitch pin, comes back up, and attaches there. So even though these, this is note 88 at the very top, this is note 87, the string the, the left string of note 88 is the same physical string as the right string of note 87. But there are some that have tied strings where it goes down and rather than wrapping around the hitch pin, there's just a little knot at the end. So the first thing we need to do, and this, this one also that is from that piano, has no tied strings. We also need to look for shared hitch pins, so that's another thing that we need to make note of. It's just, it's just a whole lot easier. It can be figured out later, but, but please, please, please look for that first before you start. Look for any tied strings, mark which one it is, and look for any shared hitch pins, which is where sometimes, like this note, would start here, go down to the hitch pin, and rather than coming around the same hitch pin and coming back up, goes around the hitch pin, goes around a second hitch pin, and then goes back up. Usually it's not in this section, it's down, it's down there. And I don't think this piano has any of those either. No, it doesn't. No shared hitch pins. But there again, it's not, it's not super rare. It's maybe one in, I don't know, one in four pianos that has some of, one of those attributes. So it's, it's crucial that those be marked down first. Okay, next, I'm going to put a piece of tape across the strings. And we only have to measure one string out of the bunch because they all should be the same. In fact, we really should only need to measure one string out of every six, assuming there are no, no tied strings. So the way to use the, I actually have a whole video on how to use calipers, but briefly just hold it like that and do this little roller thing every every rotation, every time it goes around once, is a hundred thousandths. Each, each little notch, so from here to here is one thousandth of an inch. 
that's one thousandth of an inch. So there's one hundred thousandths or one tenth of an inch. Or if you go around ten times, that would be exactly one inch. So there's one inch right there. All right, now there's there's a lot more to that on my on my video, but uh, all you really need to know for measuring strings is first you want to make sure that this is zero. Sometimes sometimes this little gauge can be off slightly. You can see this is this is closed. The needle or, or the uh, the little teeth here are touching, but the needle is pointing to what 91, and that's just because this dial has been moved. So I'm going to make sure that's zeroed. And then I'm going to put the put the little teeth on the on the string there. And this one, you have to make sure that it's perpendicular, because watch what happens when I when I turn it unperpendicular. Watch the dial. It went up to 34. When I get it back to perpendicular, it's back at 30, and then unperpendicular, it's back to 35. So you have to make sure that you're Make sure that you're there. So we're we're getting thirty thousands, and you don't really need to put the technically the way to write that would be zero point zero three zero inches, but you don't really need to do that. So we're just going to put thirty. We'll call it thirty, and that should be the same for these two. Remember, because these two strings are the same physical one, and those are thirty. These two strings are the same physical string. We know that this one is 30 because those are, they're going to put all three of those the same. And we know that this is 30 because, again, they're going to put all three of these are the same. So I'm going to measure this. That one's 30. Then I'll skip so we know that this one and this one is 30 for the same reason. So we'll go to this next one. And there's, there's a change already. Usually it doesn't come that soon. That one is 32. Skip those two. 32. Skip that one. 32. Okay, we have another change. This one is 35. So just to just to be clear, I'm gonna put a 32 there. And a 30 here. All of those are 30. And then 35 is going to go, who knows? Let's do one more. This one's 35, 35. That one. That one could be, yeah, that one's like 37. So it looks like it was just 35 for. Call that 37. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-seven. That one's also thirty-seven. stretch of 37. I'm just measuring everyone because I lost track of where the duplicates are. Okay, I don't know if you caught that in the video. When I first put it on, it was, it was like at 39, but then I realized, oh, I'm not perpendicular. So I'm gonna keep pressure on that little little thumb wheel. And then as I find my perpendicular, there's my 37. 37. Okay, so 37, this is, this is the first one that goes up. So this one is 37. And then we'll put another piece of tape on here. And we'll start marking this one at 38. We'll 
looks like. And uh, then mark that down there. Just be sure to start with 88, 87, 86, 85, etc. down to usually it ends about 28 or 29 before the bass strings start. And make sure it's all properly notated because that's what we're going to duplicate when we put the strings back on.